How are we doing YouTube? It's your friendly gamer Smart Entity here. So today we're going to look at two things. The first is change to wormhole, one of Nova's powers. Now I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intended, but there has been a change, so we'll have a quick look at that. And second, we'll have a quick look at my new specialized in-game Nova build. So it's good for anything beyond 40 minute T4 survival or anything beyond 30 wave T4 defense. Okay, so let's have a look at the change to wormhole first. So you cast wormhole, everything's normal, you know, no drama there. You cast wormhole again, what appears to be nothing happening um, is actually something happening, but in the potential future. So just give it a sec, the first wormhole will disappear, and then the second wormhole, without you casting it, will show up immediately in front of you. Right, so just to go over that again, the change is you cast wormhole, you know, first time nothing changes compared to before, you cast wormhole again, now initially nothing will happen, but once the initial wormhole runs out, the second wormhole will shot in front of you immediately, uh, without you actually casting it, so a, a delayed response. Now what this all means is basically wormhole's traveling utility is greatly decreased. So for one, you can't spam wormhole. Now with my new end game build, I actually have 75% energy efficiency, so you know spamming it is actually not an issue. But because of this, I guess duration or delay, um, you can't spam it, right? So you can't really do traveling utility. But having said that, you know there is still one other utility that is still okay for wormhole, and that is basically I'm in a T3 defense. But if you are in a T4 survival, you can cast wormhole in front of you, and then you can pretty much um, hide behind your wormhole, and that will actually help you shield bullets, right? So a good defense. Okay, so here is my new specialized Nova build, specialized for end gameplay. Uh, so anything above, you know, 40 minute T3, T4 survival, this is very strong. Anything above wave 30 T3, T4 defense, this is very strong. Now, before I go into and justify every mod, I just want to have a quick look at my initial Nova 2.0 video um, or build, and then just compare the difference. So just looking at this, you know, what's changed? So the power and time drop and molecular prime is the same, vitality is the same, constitution, continuity is the same, um, streamline energy efficiency is still there, but redirection is gone, intensify is gone, stretch is gone, flow is gone. Now as far as the aura, uh, for any kind of end game, tower, grenier, uh, you should always use corrosive projection, not energy siphon. Energy siphon is good for low level gameplay, it's good for you know non I guess specialized tower play, so nothing too long. But for any you know serious long end game play you should always use corrosive projection uh, to deal that extra armor reduction against those heavy gunners, which is the only enemy that really give you issues. Okay, so let's get right into it. Now like I was saying before Basically, with the change of wormhole, you know, it's actually okay not to have that power on here anymore. Before, it does give you good escape utility, but now, because of the fact that you can't really predict it, in that you can't cast and predict when you can recast it again, um, and if you do mess up, you know, wormhole can literally show up randomly in front of you and mess up your traveling path. So, because of all the you know nitty gritties, it's a good idea just to not use wormhole, not put it on, and use some other mod here. Okay, so again, anti metal drop, molecular prime the same, you know, constitution, continuity the same, vitality the same. Now, what's different? So, rage and quick thinking. Now, for all end game play, regardless of what frame you're playing, you should always use rage and quick thinking. Even with frames like Rhino, Frost, um, don't use redirection, don't use uh, steel fiber, use rage and quick thinking. Now, I've explained it before, and I've done so much more testing, so I'm going to explain it again. Basically, with say rage, sorry, with redirection, vitality, and steel fiber, if at end game an enemy deals, say, 1 million damage to you, right? I haven't had it done to me, I don't think, you know, <laughs> anyone have seen that, but say, if they do 1 million damage to you, you will die outright, you know, no arguments. But with this combo, you should not die. And the reason is, basically, you know, you lose all your HP, and then that HP get converted to energy, and then that energy is converted to health. But the thing is, 
that final step as an energy converted to health, that calculation seems to be done after the initial damage calculation is done. So it doesn't actually matter how much damage you receive in that single bullet, you should always have a bit more um, sort of health at the end because energy is converted after that damage calculation is done. Now, obviously the weakness to that is something like a you know multiple heavy gunner running down on you because they use their sort of gorgons to do sustained damage so it's you know multiple bullet high fire rate obviously you will still die uh, very fast but this is still much better than redirection vitality or redirection vitality and steel fiber for your high armor frame such as rhino and frost okay so that out of the way one from top fleet expertise, one from top streamline, give you that 75% 70, uh, energy efficiency. Um, constitution, continuity, narrow minded, give you that insane duration to put that insane range on molecular prime. Now I've taken out stretch because stretch only affects blast of the prime target when they die. At a higher level, that blast damage is what, 1% or less of the total HP of the heavy gunner, so no point having it there. Um, I've taken out intensify for two reasons. One, because intensify again only affect blast damage, not the primed uh, percentage multiplier. So in game, no point having that. And secondly, intensify slows enemy down. Now, as ironically as that may sound, you do not actually want to slow enemies down too much. Because, I mean, in defense it's fine, but in survival, which is, I think, what usually people play to get to, you know, a very high level because rewards accumulate. Um, so for that, you don't actually want enemies to slow down too much because you do want them to come to you fast, so you can kill them fast for life support, so they'll respawn and then you can kill them again, etc., etc. Now, Molecular Prime by itself does slow enemies a little bit, but that's okay, just don't add intensify and make that worse. Now, some people may say, you know, why don't you put an overextended on there to increase your speed? Well, for two reasons. One, you have to waste a mod slot. Um, I personally don't want to substitute any of these mods out for overextended, and two, you really don't want to increase enemy speed at the 60 minima, just because, yes, they'll come to you faster, but, you know, there is a balance, yeah? They'll come to you so fast, they'll just kill you outright, um, and that's not what you want. Alright guys, so sometimes when I release a new build, you know, I do say one or two mods, it's up to preference, uh, you can switch this mod for that mod, but with this build, you know, every mod is essential, I cannot think of any other mod th that can produce a better result. Um, than these mods here, so this is definitely the Nova build you want to use for your end game play. Alright guys, so just going to do some quick gameplay showing of how powerful this build is. This is just a T3 exterminate, nothing too strong, uh, but it's good enough to show off the power. So I cast Molecular Prime, and quite literally, you know, enemies, waves, or whatever you call it, rooms and rooms over will still be affected. So all these enemies coming to me now are affected. Uh, all these guys are affected just from the initial cast. And all these guys are still affected from the initial cast. And we keep on going, so all these guys are affected. And so it pretty much ends there. If you think about you know how far away I actually cast Medicular Prime, this is more than good enough for all purposes. And second of all, I just want to show off, you know, this really does bring back the old Molecular Prime as best as possible. So I'm not even at max energy yet, but if you look at the energy reduction, you know, this really does allow you to spam Molecular Prime non-stop. So if you see my initial Nova video, uh, back before the nerf, you know, I was doing a massive spamming, and this pretty much, you know, served that purpose as well. So it's because of this, you know, 75% energy efficiency and the narrow-minded countering fleeting expertise there's constant spamming and humongous range that this build, you know, like I was saying, almost makes the nerf seems not there. Of course, it's not as strong as before the nerf, but this is as good as you can get. And that's why this build, you know, really brings Nova back as one of the top DPS damage frames out there. Um, and still making her a very viable, very suitable frame for your long T4, T3 survival defense. And I know at least one of you guys will be saying, well, why don't you demonstrate this in a T4, you know, survival 80 minute? Um, well, the problem is, you know, I can definitely cast this there, 
but of course I want to be able to run around enemies and showing you guys exactly how far um, you know the range is and I want to be able to show you guys you know just constant spamming because chances are if I spam there for a while uh, I'll probably die so there's that but for all intents and purposes, you know, the way that the power works, you know, it'll prime targets that are level 1, it'll prime targets that are level 200. Um, so, you know, it's definitely not a stretch to extrapolate that. We'll, we'll just do a quick mention of antimatter drop. Now, you know, if you've seen my previous videos, seen my previous, I guess, opinions, uh, I'm definitely not a big fan of antimatter drop, just because, you know, at a long um, survival defense, you know, you really can't afford to be aiming an antimatter drop at an enemy and then aiming your gun at it and then hopefully, you know, detonate at the enemy before the enemy kills you. Um, it is definitely strong, it has a lot of damage potential, but for practical purposes, um, it's just not very good. And especially with a new Mirage frame out now, um, another extremely powerful DPS frame, you know, it just really, you know, gives Nova the competition. Uh, I still keep anti-meta drop on there, but for all intents and purposes, it is there for very limited situations. Um, it's good, but you just you know have to find situations for it. Oh yeah, and it's still going. Still going. Still going. It's in the next room, but trust me, it's still going. Now finally, just a quick personal channel update, I suppose. Uh, so a few weeks ago, I uploaded my Mirage review. Um, back then, I promised you guys a specialized build for Mirage very shortly. Um, I know the build, the build is out. I've tested it, it is strong. The only reason I haven't uploaded it yet is because recently there's been some very strange things happening with trade chat in that there has been some cr uh, crazy buying patterns so before I was able to upload the video I actually sold the mods I needed um, so as you can see I don't actually have too many rank 10 mods um, I don't even really have a max duration of Hornet Strike right now which is quite embarrassing but I am trying to reacquire the mods and once I do I will release a build it is strong, it is good um, I've actually leveled uh, Mirage four times to rank 30 so it is former three times and the build is ready so stay tuned for that hopefully by next week I can release that um, also a while back I promised you guys a long T4 survival now I have done a couple runs none of them were really you know satisfactory to my standard um, two main reasons why that haven't came out one is because of a lot of bugs happening with update 14 so I'm getting a lot of disconnects um, the second reason is basically because it's been a pain finding decent players you know too often I get players that just run off on their own you know we agree to something before and then once it starts they do what they want so it's been quite frustrating uh, but that is still coming as well so stay tuned for that alright guys thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe um, do stay with the channel because in the next few days I do plan to release a few more specialized builds. Cheers guys.